for a food addiction. It could be for drug addiction. It could be for shopping addiction. If you have a shopping addiction, stay away from the mall. If you've got a food addiction, then... Well, I can't tell you to stay away from food because we need food to eat. But just don't be around food 24-7 and present good food to yourself. It's especially for us moms who have kids and we have to buy them snacks. We can't avoid buying them snacks. You guys, I have something to tell you guys and... I'm not pleased about this at all, but y'all know that I started this fitness journey and I was doing so well, and I still am, I still am. I'm not gonna beat myself up. But I got myself in a bit of a pickle because I found, I became addicted. I became addicted to something that I thought I was so far from. Like I thought I got away from it because you guys saw in week one, I told you what I did and how I ate. So before I jump into it, let me tell you a little bit of a backstory. So last week I did really well with my eating. Then I went to a birthday party, y'all. Well, no, it wasn't a birthday party. We went by my friends who had us over and they had birthday cake there, which I ended up having some of it. Oh my gosh, that cake was so good. That cake was so good. It was so darn Good. It was called like the jelly bean something cake. Never had a cake like that my whole life. I had to just peep the baby over there, but I never had a cake like that. It was the bomb. Like I want to get the recipe. I want to bake it for all my kids at every single birthday, including my own. Like the cake was that good. And I'm going to get that recipe. But I fear for myself. Oh my gosh. I'm making myself pasta. Ah, I'm making myself pasta. This is why you don't walk away from the stove. Oh Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Thank you, Lord. But anyways, like I was saying, I tried to stay, I tried, yeah? Would you like some more num nums? Would you like some more? These aren't even num nums, I don't know what mom's talking about. The kids left, they're not here, they went to their friends, so I'm just here with the baby. And um, I should be cleaning up, but my addiction just took over because it had me doing crazy stuff that I didn't plan on doing and I'm currently doing. But um, yeah, so I went to that birthday party, had some cake, and it's like, that's when things started spiraling out of control. Overall, for this past week, I've been eating pretty well, but then I went to Costco, go and I perused through those aisles, and then I came up on, wait for it, wait for it. This, 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 y'all. I landed up on this delicious bag of trail mix. Now, to, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie because, I'm not gonna lie because this trail mix has stuff in there that I'm not a big fan of, typically the currants and the raisins, but you guys can all guess what drew me in. It's the M&Ms, the M&Ms drew me in, and so I bought it thinking, you know what? I like those M&Ms and I'm gonna have a bunch of them. I'm just gonna have a couple in between my, you know, just have like a handful of the nuts and I'm gonna get M&Ms and whatnot. How about, I don't like the raisins in there. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So what I find myself doing now these days, and this really started last night because I, I have not been having any chocolate whatsoever. What I started doing was such a bad thing, y'all. I did a very bad thing. I started just taking handfuls of this these nuts <laughs> that sounds bad and what I do is just throw it in a jar and I go through I go through and I pick out all of the M&Ms and then I throw the remainder in a Ziploc bag tell me that's not crazy why am I doing this? And so honestly, I have not gone for a walk today, but I'm gonna go for a walk. I found myself kind of slowing down on the, the weighted bars just because I didn't have time. I went, I worked out twice this week and I went for a walk once so far. And that's a lot less than last week. I'm not giving up and I'm, you know, the baby, I'm here with the baby right now. So while she's in her high chair, I'm going to do a little workout with my bottle and you guys can kind of see what I was showing you, telling you that it can do just so you guys can see, because honestly, I've got to get a hold of this addiction. It's holding me hostage. And this is why 
for people like me, it is far better to never have it in the house than to have it in the house. So if you are like me and you are on a fitness journey, do yourself some justice. Yes, we don't want to cut ourselves off and cut everything out of our lives. But if you know you really, really, really love something, don't bring it in the house because you're going to be like me. Even when I, t I told myself, I am just going to take, you know, the serving size is like three tablespoons. Yeah, three tablespoons. Yet, I'm just taking out handfuls and just, you know, picking through, picking through, and just doing this. Mm. That's some good old M&M. Mm -mm. uh, no more. I can't. I can't do this. We got... So what I did last night, I started sharing it with my kids. Started sharing it with my family. I'm like, y'all, help me eat this because I don't want to... I don't want to overly consume. And then set myself back. I've got numbers coming for y'all. Because I'm seeing numbers. I'm seeing a difference. And so I need to be on it. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Comment down below and let me know if you are the same way. How are you with sugar in the house? Especially for us moms who have kids and we have... Um, we have to buy them snacks. We can't avoid buying them snacks. So what do we do, right? We have to have we have to have like superhuman self-control where we see all the snacks and just leave them there. And for the most part, I'm good at it, but I really can't go back. And when I go back and I get a hint of that sugar, then my body just craves more and more of it. And that's where I went wrong. I was so I went so long without the sugar. And then my body just craved the sugar the moment I gave in and had some. And my oh my, was it all good when I did indulge? Because it was actually worth it. Looking back, I'd probably do it again. My my family baked a bunch of cookies this past week, and I didn't touch one. They baked like 70. That's a lot of cookies. They baked about 70 cookies, and I touched none because I wasn't a fan. And had I eaten some of those, I would feel the guilt. But I, I literally feel no guilt from any of the things that I ate because they were actually that good, and I thought they were worth it, and I would do it again. But this time around... I know my weakness, and I'm never buying this thing again because, quite frankly, I don't even like some of the stuff in there. I don't even like the currant and the raisins. I'm not a big fan of raisins, and even if it's ra if I like raisins, I don't want them salted. Like that's gross to me. And the fact that I'm eating these M and M's out of this container is really sad because I'm a girl that do prefer my M and M's. Like I, I would eat my M and M's just from the store, and they have less salt than they do in this, and that's the thing I do watch. So, anyways, long story short. Stay away from the your addiction. Stay away from the things that you find that are very addictive because what they, what it will do is suck you in and you will just slide back. You will just keep going backwards because you are presenting your addiction right before yourself. I'm sure you could apply this for everything, like not just food. It could be for a food addiction. It could be for drug addiction. It could be for shopping addiction. If you have a shopping addiction, stay away from the mall. If you've got a food addiction, then... Well, I can't tell you to stay away from food because we need food to eat, but just don't be around food 24-7 and present good food to yourself. Be around good food. If you've got an addiction to drugs um, and obviously you're trying to change it and, and you are on the right path, I know it's so easier said than done because I'm that's not... You know, I'm not a user. I've never been a user, so it's not like I've got it all figured out, but I'm just saying... When you surround yourself around the thing, it makes it that much harder to step away from. Had I not bought this and I was craving sugar, my I would have just been like, okay, I'm just going to have a fruit. But because because I went ahead and bought it, I'm now kind of stuck with, you know, not, I don't want to say eating it, but it's there and the temptations are there. So hope if any, if, if I just wanted to share my little journey on what I'm experiencing right now. But at the same time, there's a lesson to be learned here. And I hope you all learned something. So thanks for watching, guys. And much love. Bye, guys.